We've spent some time building components using the functional way. Uh, that's the way that URS um, is heading towards and the way they suggest that we start learning how to build components uh, for you. However, there's another type of component that you may see in documentation all the time. And it was actually historically the first component available to, uh, to us to use with you. And that is the struct component. So this is uh, going to be equivalent to a class component in React or, or uh, Vue or, or Angular or pretty much any of the other um, JavaScript-based components. So uh, first of all, where do we go to find documentation for this? Well, in 0.19, uh, if we just go to concepts, components, pretty much everything here is going to be about struct components. Now in the next version, so 0.2, uh, this is going to change and you're going to flip the script and function components are going to be the primary thing that they teach you about in the documentation. And then uh, there's going to be another section for it elsewhere. Um, anyways, well, what, what are struct components? Well, it's basically we're going to create a struct to hold the component. So let's create a hello world component uh, using a struct method. I'm going to come back to here. Let's go into an atom and create a new file. We'll call this struct hello, and we'll add you in here. OK, well, I mean, the easiest way to start is just to create a struct for this. So we're going to do a pub struct struct hello. Um, now, we don't have to have anything inside of here. Whatever ends up being in is going to be the state. Uh, so what I mean by that is what if we say something like um, uh, pub message is a string. Okay. Now, we need to impl a component, uh, which means, can't forget, bring in the prelude for you. Uh, now I can bring in component for struct hello. I'm going to uh, implement the missing members. And uh, this is these are the things that we have to fill out and set for this to work for us. So first of all, type message. Um, uh, we are not going to worry about that this video. We'll be getting to that soon. Right now, I'm going to set that to basically just nothing. Open and close parentheses. Um, Properties. We, I'm also, we're not bringing in properties this video either. So we're just, that. that's it. Um, okay, then we have a create. So this is our creator, a constructor as it were. Uh, we need to return self, which is this struct hello here. Uh, it's going to bring in this thing called a context, which if you remember, there was that use context from the functional programming thing. The, um, that is similar, but there's some extra stuff that you can get from the context here. Uh, however, we're not going to need anything about the context uh, today. Instead, what we're going to do is set up our struct hello and then add a message. So we're going to turn a self with a message. Uh, and we'll just say that your hello world from a struct. Uh, remember, no semicolon because I am auto returning to be the self. Uh, okay. Now, oh, this has to be a string. So we'll do a to owned. And then we have our view. So this is a function that's going to return the HTML. So this is basically that return part of the functional component. Uh, so once again, I don't really need the context here right now. We have access to self, which means I have access to this message string. So let's start with writing some of this HTML. Uh, it's going to be just pretty simple. We're going to do a, um, uh, if we want to use this, we can use this main title here. So let's pull that in. Use create. Um, actually, right now we are 
in Atom, so we can just go one up. So we'll do super uh, main title, main title. And we'll have main title and then close that. And I think um, we need to pull in for properties, a title, um, a color, and ooh, an onload uh, callback. Um, right. Let's um, let's not use this right now. I don't want to have to go into callbacks for that. I forgot we had put that in there. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna not use main title. We're just gonna put a, an H1 directly. So H1, H1. Um, now I can just as normal put in whatever I want to. So in this case, we're gonna do self.message. I wanna make sure it is a reference set, so I'm not uh, taking ownership from the struct. I, I just want essentially a copy of it. Um, or in this case, a reference to it is perfectly fine. Uh, now I wanna go back to our main, uh, the main library, and we want to replace what we have in this HTML with the um, with this new struct hello, so let's bring that in. All right, so if we save this. Everything should be uh, happy here, and if we head on over to our um, our browser, we see our hello world from a struct. Let's take a look at this again. Um, the struct component is similar to the function component. Actually, let's bring up two of them together. Let's, uh, let's take a look at that main title again. So um, we... Where is, where am I thinking about? Here it is. Um, it was below the fold. Okay, so we have our main title uh, function, which we then say is the styled component, um, which then we give the main title to. Uh, we skip that step with the struct component. We just say, okay, I just want a struct with the name of whatever it's actually going to be. So in that way, it's a little bit more explicit what's gonna happen. However, then we have to impull component on it, which we don't have to do here. Basically, at this point, we take in props, uh, which we just tell it what kind of props are. We don't have to like do that entire what what like props type equals all that things we have to do manually uh, that are done automatically for us in a macro here. We um, this function returns a HTML, whereas in our struct hello we have a view function which then returns an HTML. If you're familiar with a, a class-based React components, then this is very similar to the, um, the, the essentially the lifecycle methods where we have that sort of create, we have like, I think it was like on created or on component mounted or some, something like that. Um, it's been a while since I've used those. So I, I forget the exact names of the, um, uh, the lifecycle methods for React. Uh, then you have this view, which is very similar to the render method of, of React. And then here we just return HTML as part of this function. Um, here, however, the, the HTML is only returned as part of the view. Everything else is going to be in support of that. And of course, state is different too. Uh, we don't have to use like any kind of use state or anything else. It just We get it for free because it's part of this struct. So this message is now state inside of here. If we wanted to, we can set up a lifecycle um, method, which there's a few available to us um, that would then allow us to update that. We'll be doing that later in another video. Anyways, for right now, this is just a basic introduction to what struct components are, how to get them set up, and uh, I, uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.